Hi guys, this is Nisha from I'm Her Cycles. So today I'm going to talk to you about the Tempt One. So this one here is the upmost model in the Tempt series. So this is your top model Tempt. There's quite a few things that really distinguish it from the rest. Now, so firstly I'll go over what we've got at the rear here. We're running what we call XT. This is basically your second highest level of componentry on the rear, right? We're then running Dior on the front and Dior shifters. So with that combination, you get a really smooth gear change um, and it just rides really nicely with a really crisp change. With the other ones, you run anywhere from 24 through to 30 gears, right? Now with this one here, we actually jump back down to 20 gears. So we've only got two cogs on the front, whereas on the rest we have three. Now you've got 10 on the rear, two on the front. Basically the reason for that is you actually don't need the full range of 30 gears. So what that does is it basically, it's a weight saving mechanism, right? So with this, when we go mountain biking, we want our bikes to be really lightweight because we need to get them up those hills, down those hills, over those rocks, all that kind of thing, right? So with this, we just take away a little bit of that extra weight, which isn't needed. So you find you have plenty enough gears because you actually find you barely even use that range there. Now, we also go over here, we go over to a different set of shocks. So these are your Fox shocks, so really nice shocks. With Fox, we run what's called CTD. Basically stands for Climb, Trail, Descent. Depending on what kind of riding you're doing will depend on where you set it. So obviously, if you're climbing, the, the stiffness is gonna be, or it's gonna be firmer, so that you have a greater stiffness and you're not getting so much give and losing that power. Then if you flick it over to trail, we're obviously then gonna have a little bit more give without getting that full give so it really works with what you're doing. Then if we're going descent, you get that full travel. So with these, we're running 100 mil travel. So you get that full travel so you can absorb the whole of that impact on that ride. Now, another little feature we have here, this is the little red bit here. So this one here, this is our rebound. That'll determine how quickly the shocks return after you've hit something, right? So let's say you've got it set really slow. Basically you hit something and then it's gonna take a while for it to come back up to its full extent, right? But if you have it set quite fast, what it's gonna do, it'll drop and then pop back out. So depending on what works with what you're doing will depend on how you set that. Now, also with these ones here, the advantage of having your air shocks is you can actually set it to specific weights, right? So you can be 50 kilos, you can be 100 kilos, right? You can have it so the, the shocks are set to a weight that will actually work for you. So depending on how much pressure will depend on how much give. So if you have a shock that's set for a 50 kilo person and then a heavier person gets on that, you're gonna get a lot of drop for doing not much, right? But if the, we then had that set for say somebody who's 75 kilos and a 50 kilo person gets on it, it's gonna be stiff as anything and they're not gonna get any give, right? So that then allows it to be specific for every person. Here we've got our remote CTD. So basically leaving it there, we've got our descent, then we go into our trail, then we go into our, our climb, depending on what we're doing, right? Then we just click it back. So that just makes it really handy, really easy. Come up to a hill, just straight out, click it into descent. And then if you hit a downhill all of a sudden, you just click it straight out. Don't even have to worry about taking your hands off the handlebars to actually change that over. Now with this one here, we also have what we call a through axle. So that's this one here. Now, basically this here goes all the way through out to the other side. So to actually remove the wheel, you have to pull it right through, release it, pull it right through. With that, basically it allows for a stronger hold on the bike and actually gives you a stronger support basis. So just again, one of those improvements on the bikes, which makes it even better for mountain biking and even more adapt to that. All right, so with this one here, we go over to running your Shimano disc brakes. So again, they run up a better quality disc brake than what's on your other temps. Then you get over to your cranks. So again, on the cranks, we're running a Shimano crank, but this is actually your Dior. So like with your front derailleur and your shifters, it's a better quality crank, which is again, gonna make it a lot more solid and allow for that power transfer. And you won't get any bending or give, right? So it means when you hit those things hard, you can keep that power there without losing anything or getting any flex. 
Now, with your rear derailleur, what you've got is you've got this little mechanism here, right? This is like a little lockout mechanism. So if we've got this off down here, right, what we'll get, we get that flex, right? So that's handy if you need to take it off, the wheel off or whatnot. But if you're riding and you don't want that flex, basically you close that off, so put it on, and then that stops that movement. So it basically helps you avoid having your train fall off whilst you're riding because you get a lot less movement in that. Whereas before, you get a lot more movement in it as you hit your bumps and your rockier things. Um, so this frame here, this is again a women's specific frame, meaning that we've got a slightly shorter top tube, allowing for our shorter torsos and longer legs with generally a narrower handlebar so that it's not as wide and our hands aren't like really stretched out, makes it really hard to control. Again, with our shorter seat, which is a little bit wider just to make it a little bit more comfortable. On this one here, we're still running a standard alloy frame. Um, good quality frame, but nice, easy to use um, and lightweight too. Now, on this one here, we go over to running our Maxxis tires. So your Maxxis tires are just a little bit more specific and a lot more sturdy. So you've got some really good tread, um, sturdy tires that'll give you a really good grip and make it really easy to ride. On your pedals here, these are what we call clips, right? So basically the idea of these is just foot goes in, basically gives you a point to support it. Um, obviously you can tighten it, easier just to go clipless with your shoes and whatnot, but the advantage being that it does give you a little bit more control and keeps you connected to the bike. All right, so that sums up your Giant Tempt 1. So if you have any questions, come in and ask us and give it a try.